what up folks this is going to be a quick little video um as some of y'all may be seeing on facebook lately i've been posting up pictures of how my pc looks now and well let's just say it looks mighty damn nice it already looked nice now it looks really goddamn nice and all this is thanks to uh, the NZXT Hue Plus. NZXT had already had an LED product uh, called a Hue, but that required that you have a 3.5 inch drive bay on the front of your PC, which I got two of them, right? If you can see around TV, I don't know if you can, but either way, I got one there from my optical drive. Um, so they came up with this one that just used a little hub and you can do everything software based as far as changing the color and everything. So that's what my PC looked like. And this, I'm going to swoop under here and you can see what I had to do. I had to do some MacGyvering to tuck the cables where I wanted to because... I thought I was going to be able to slide them under there, but since the board is already in, I didn't feel like pulling out the board just to route a few cables, so I'm like, you know what? I can push them behind them hard drives. They shouldn't affect nothing. And I had to get MacGyver-ish on the hub itself, because usually they would sit in one of these drive bays. I know NZXT with uh, their cases on top of the PSU shroud they have uh, drive bays for like 2.5 inch uh, drives but me since my 2.5s are in the back of this case Air 540 case I was like where can I put these things oh I'm sorry sorry for flipping it sorry for flipping it so I'm like where can I put these things well since I'm only using one 980 Ti and I'm not using all my other little expansion slots, and since my slots actually have screw holes in them, I was like, hey, let's just attach the hub <laughs> to the freaking uh, expand removable expansion slots covers. And lo and behold, it actually works out pretty nice. So... Thank y'all for those screws, but I had the MacGyver something that came out pretty nice. But this is the channel one. Channel one goes from here to here. And if you look up, up there, that's all channel one. Now you may be wondering, well, how did you get the red under there? Okay, channel two. Channel 2, I actually routed under this hard drive. Because on the Air 54, they have two hard open, kind of like semi-open slots right here for the hard drives. So I actually, and it's like cut out two open areas. I don't know why they had cutouts, but I guess that's just to keep from overheating and have heat somewhere to go. So what did I do? I got creative. And right there where you see the lights, they actually have a little indention that's angled. So it worked out perfectly. So where you don't see the lights, you just see the casting of the light. So right down there is some, you can see one of the zip ties and the light strips. So I had to angle this sucker in there just to get it right. Thank God those wires are pretty dang flexible for me to angle. But what all can this bad boy do? Because I got channel 1 active right now. Channel 2 I'm leaving set to that red. So I'm not messing with channel 2. So channel 1 is currently checked. So right now with channel 2. Let's see. I can add a breathing effect. And go down here to save changes. You can see how that looks. And I can also uh, change the interval of the breeding effect. So if I want to go 
fast. Or slowest. So as you can see, it's got a lot of a little effects that you can add in. Let me change this to white. And then we also have the fading one. Now with the fading one, it acts simply as it does. Fades from white to green to blue and then all the way back to white. And you can, of course, go up in here on the color spectrum, pick any color, and you can add more colors that it fades to. Then we have marquee, which I think is pretty goddamn awesome. What marquee does, and I got it set to a comic trail effect. So as you can see, when the lights go by, it's kind of like bright at the very beginning of it and kind of tapers off. That's the comic trail effect. Which I can also, let's see, group that in sequences of five. You can see it better. But I can just have that scrolling across there. And I can also do it on the bottom set of lights. But I like that accent to be on the bottom of just red. I like that. It just, it pops. When you look at it in the middle of the night, it just pops. It really does. But that's the comet trail, and then I can turn it off, and then you just have that. Which I guess if you were going with like a um, biohazard thing, you could have that as kind of like the warning light. Like, let's see, this. Like that warning light you always see in the movies when some something big is going down, as they say. Yeah, that can be your warning. Let's see, the next one we have is the covering marquee. Which that one just gives you a solid color throughout the whole scrolling effect. Which you can, and of course you can change all these. Uh, pulse, which is quick flicker spectrum wave good old every time you see a RGB keyboard you see this you see it in this mode where you can do it with your PC my daughter really likes that mode cause it's all colorful for her see then we have alternating aka Christmas lights so Let's say, let me see, first color be red. Well, that's more of a pink. Let's see, change that to green. So, if, I mean, if you want to do the whole, um, I forgot what group is pink and green. A if you want to do a AKA build for somebody special in your life, there you go, pink and green for them. Uh, but it's not really the color. Because I want it. Let me move it down. But Christmas coming up. And you can do. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Christmas. And instead of having it doing that, you can actually have it moving around the case like that. So, hey, Christmas, you can get festive, switch it up, do whatever. And then last but not least, we have one that's called uh, Candlelight. Now, with Candlelight, I don't know if you can pick it up from the video, but... It gives you the same, like, if you can look on the wall, you can see kind of like this little flickering. That's what it does. It gives you the sense of a candle flickering. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty unique. I'm not going to lie. Then, of course, 
it has a smart mode which you can record your it can tell you like depending on what colors that it's set at it can tell you your GPU temperature your CPU temperature and your FPS mode but let me and right now as you can see I changed it to the smart mode and between 20 and 40 it's blue between 50 and 60 it's purple and between 80 and 100 it's red anybody that gets their CPU up to 80 and 100 mm, something wrong <laughs> I'm just saying but as you can see we're all blued out let's see what my GPU looking at like I know that's probably gonna be that should be kind of fading between no it's actually kind of right I know my GPU usually runs about 40 whenever it's just sitting there because reference GPUs get kind of hot anyway so idle is just like 40 for that just like eh, okay whatever um, then of course you can go through here and make a uh, custom which you already have custom uh, profiles but then you have the last one being your audio audio being you can sync you can do it by level sync or gain and each level will have you know whatever color you assign to it so if I set it to that and the only thing about audio is it affects all the channels so it's not just one channel being affected it's all the channels being affected and I can switch it I can hit this little switch and it says use audio mode only when a game is running and see and I can say that so let me go back to this change yeah my red should be back on get this back to that white okay so Let's say my white and my red popping. Okay, my white and my red are popping. Ch turn out that. Let me adjust channel two soon. As far as that color. Okay. So I got that. Got my audio, and it says use audio mode only when the game is running. So. Going to use it on sync, save changes, and then go back to my presets and redo those. Save changes. There we go. Okay, so let's test this out with a game. Uh, turn on my all time favorite Battlefront. Should pop up there. Of course, got to sign in the origin. Hopefully, no updates. And I know this video is dragging on, but I just want to show you how it is because it's actually pretty goddamn nice to be what it is. Wait a minute. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, I got my overlay up there for the actual game, which I'm going to actually go in here and turn off uh, G-Force's frame rate counter. Uh, preferences show. Well, I can leave that on. I just need to turn the FPS counter off. Okay, so. As you can see,
that's what happens whenever I play a game. So this is going to be actually nice for me whenever I go to my gaming session. Just adds that extra little flair to it. And also, Channel 2 will also be doing the same thing. So, overall, pretty nice. And if you can look up here... You'll see what I'm running. GPU temp is at 56, so not bad. Uh, CPU at 32, also not bad. Um, so, oh, it hit 40. Which, I'm not complaining about the CPU temp because, hell, I got it overclocked. And I also got the GPU overclocked a little bit, so... That temperature actually ain't bad for this. I'm actually surprised. Of course, the fans are starting to kick in too, so. But yeah. Ugh, I was all out of focus. But yeah, anyway, this is uh, the Sarge0079, aka Mr. Stealth himself, dropping this quick little video. Hopefully, it comes out right on my phone. It looks dark as shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But. Damn, I'm probably going to hop on Battlefront for a little bit before I have to go to my uh, daughter's birthday party. But, yeah, I'm gone.